r slash ask reddit what annoys you the most about the pandemic the commercials good lord if i see one more commercial with we care about you in these trying times we're in this together now buy our stuff I am just tired of talking about it and it's somehow creeping into every single conversation. I work in a large hospital in a large city, and I have to deal with it at work every day. I don't want to have to constantly discuss it when I'm not on the clock. 2. The other day I tried to google something biology related I think it was a question about antibodies or something, and literally every result was about coronavirus. I know I know poor me I had to use Google's advanced search first world problems etc but it's like just because coronavirus is a pandemic right now does not mean every microbiological question that someone googles is about it. It's brought out the absolute worst in most people. Some people have risen above, but most have not, and people you'd have never thought in a million years could be so crass, rude, nasty, and downright mean are all coming out of the woodwork. I have definitely noticed a significant change in people's attitude, and I don't like it at all. I work in retail and there has been a huge change in some of the regulars behavior. With it being a small shop it's really easy to remember faces of the people who come in. Moving to a new area right before and being unable to make friends. This I felt so alone. I had plans got go to different art classes and things but everything got shut down. I have zero friends can't get any decent 99% isopropyl to clean my glassware. So far this is one of the only comments that is an annoyance, and not a rather serious grievance. Best answer here. Idiots acting like wearing a mask is literally the most painful thing to ever happen to them. Or tying it to politics. As someone who works in live music and whose partner is a musician, the lack of shows. I hear you. I miss live music. As a soft spoken person, it's very annoying that it is even harder to hear me with my mask on. I will continue to wear one as long as necessary, but I look forward to the day when people can read my lips and facials to help cover the gap for my soft voice lol. I have trouble hearing people in general. Masks have made it so much harder and I feel like a total idiot when I have to ask people to repeat themselves. That essential workers didn't get an extra $600 as well. An extra stimulus or government enforced extra pay. I feel bad for all those who lost their jobs and should be grateful for job security but I did the math and would have been making double on unemployment than I was working. I just think we deserved something too. I am still working. My employer made everyone take a 10% pay cut. Their reasoning was to avoid firing anyone. I work for a printing company. We only have about 12 employees on the press room floor and our interactions tend to be limited and short. I'm glad to still be employed but I was a little jealous of family members who have been working from home. The blatant politicization of science. The amount of small businesses that will be shuttered forever because of it. The idiocy it's brought out in people. This is admittedly somewhat selfish but I miss being able to go to the store at 3am when nobody else is around. Basically. It might just be me, but the lack of respect people display now. I work in a warehouse that isn't open to the public. Never has or will be. We're not a storefront. We have no signs beyond basic markers for delivery drivers. Orders have always been done either via email or a phone call, and yet people will just walk in and order stuff now and expect it to be done then and there. I'm waiting to find out if I have cancer, and I can't take someone in with me for support. Wishing you the best. As a service provider, I can see that some of my clients are actually benefiting from this pandemic, but still, they act like Oda Fibre. In these times, we are all struggling. Can we please lower the budget? Can we delay the payments? I can literally hear the smiles on calls from them as most of them have these ready made excuses ready while I know for a fact that their business is ducking booming for them because of this pandemic. But they expect my small business to take the hit and work in back capital for them when it clearly is not and they are literally showing off on their LinkedIn and websites and social medias how well they are doing. Me and my partners are working without salary just so that we don't have to lay off our own employees and I've got some of these almost millionaire a-holes acting like life and business is tough. 
And two out three of these clients are the ones that are not taking this pandemic seriously and asking their employees to come to their respective offices when they can easily manage it by working from home. That I've been inside and isolating and put all my plans on hold since March. And thanks to so many people being selfish asses, there's still no end in sight. Yeah every time I see here another party at my neighbors with a bunch of cars parked outside I won't do my head in. We're never getting out, are we? On the other hand, I'm amazed how they're not already all sick yet. While good people who are doing their best to protect themselves either have a limited life now or that and they got infected at a mandatory outing or necessary hospital visit etc. It's never the people doing the selfish stuff that get hurt, is it? The isolation. I didn't know for the past two weeks that one of my best friend's dad died. Without the pandemic I would have known and would have been there for him. Not just that, but the isolation drove my uncle's depression into overdrive resulting in his suicide. He leaves behind five grandchildren, another on the way, two wonderful kids and their spouses, his disabled wife, his retirement house by the beach, his remaining siblings and in-laws, and various nieces and nephews. Now his wife, who is physically limited due to mis and almost incapable of speaking, has to sell their dream home and live her sunset years without her person to guide her. I've been crying fairly regularly since it happened. He'll never get to me at a newborn daughter. Last night I read her a book before bed and when we finished I saw the handwritten note he wrote on it. It's all that I have left of him now. It's really shown me how stupid most people are. Rushed research. I've read so many pre-print papers that are just trash or missing painfully obvious variables. Not surprising many of these papers get retracted or absolutely tore apart by academics. It honestly feels like sometimes the authors are just trying to get something to stick so they can have name recognition. Thankfully, there's a ton of great research out there. Manage a convenience store. Seems like a third of things I try to order are on back order. Same and same. And nobody believes it, so they start beaching up a storm while their saliva spatters on the improvised plexiglass shield that is all the owner will pay for. Because they have asthma and can't wear a mask while I stand there in a mask for the 6 hour straight while my chronic bronchitis is giving me hell. The past couple of weeks, I've just kept the second register open, one person per shift, but we have two registers. And I let them rant but keep serving other customers. Some of them get absolutely livid that they can't hold everyone up while they have their say and storm out swearing they won't be back. By my count, I've only actually lost two regular customers so far doing this. So I guess they found somewhere else to buy their 99 cent 3 pack of blunts. Boohoo. How everyone keeps saying everyone is out of work self isolating working from home getting hazard pay etc. I've been working every weekday, going business to business, delivering product, getting signatures, having to deal with all kinds of random people, employees, customers of my customer, and no one gave a shit about the delivery person. That I can't see movies in theaters anymore. I really wanted to see The Quiet Place too. But of course they pushed it back. I was like, fine, I'll wait till they stream it online. But nope, it looks like they're going to wait for the theaters to reopen. Like, are you kidding me? I honestly don't mind the social distancing. The masks, although uncomfortable, they are better than the alternative. The corona test, although it was very uncomfortable to get a long stick up your nose, it's still better than the alternative. The quarantine, lack of travel, lack of work and money for months, the plastic screens in shops, the hand sanitizers etc. It's all good, but the mental exhaustion from all of this over cautiousness and being afraid of hurting other people for no apparent reason is was almost unbearable at times. Especially when you couldn't even get tested at first. I was afraid I had it already in March, had almost all the symptoms and felt like total shit for 3 weeks. I couldn't get tested as there was not enough tests available for everybody and I hadn't traveled to the high risk countries, China, US and Italy at that point. I had my wedding coming up, so I didn't want to risk anything so I couldn't touch any of my relatives or friends, had to self isolate until the wedding, and couldn't get tested until August after the wedding when the symptoms reappeared. I would have most likely lost it if I would have been single and not be able to see or touch anyone for 5 months. It. Ducking. Sucked. 
Misinformation. I don't mean a huge conspiracy theory or any political party using COVID-19 to their advantage. Thought there is some of that. I mean businesses, media, schools, local governments, etc. Lying to the public and or suppressing information. Some of them probably have an agenda. For example, schools. But I suspect much of this boils down to apathy or ignorance. When people say the pandemic has brought out the worst, they are usually referring to people and their actions. However, it has brought out a much worse worst in our institutions. My cynicism used to be strong, but now it's over 9000. The gyms are closed. It's one of the few places I actually go. Colon. I'm losing good weight and gaining bad weight. Gyms are open near me but I don't want to deal with BS. Massive corporations seizing the opportunity to further hoard wealth, crush small business, and extract bailouts from the government. The company I work for started giving us gift cards to shop at our stores, grocery store so it's very convenient, alongside a small temporary pay raise, but the gift cards tended to be more valuable. $100 gift cards compared to a $1 raise. Turns out the gift cards were given to us because our company was given a lot of money by the state governments to help out the workers. So they basically took taxpayer money and put it in their wallets by using that money to give staff plastic money that can only be used at our branches. It's helpful for me when I need groceries, but still corrupt as shit. I see people in public restrooms at work all the time who run their gloved hands underwater for like one second and then go about the rest of their day touching everything. Just skip the gloves and wash your ducking hands. Everything that I was looking forward to was cancelled. It really did bring out the worst in people. Personalities and harmful opinions were brought to the surface and you learned a lot about people. The number of people that I toughed were great and that I now want to punch in the face. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.